Hey everyone, I'm Jake and you're back at Mediaverse Studios. Today we're looking at the Cinema Camera 6K from Blackmagic. They just got a firmware update, currently in beta, that's version 9.5, and they claim that it's adding phase attack to autofocus. We all saw the NAB live stream. We had Grant, the thunder from down under, just ripping away on all this gear, and all these new broadcasting things, and then they just casually announced, oh hey, by the way, we're throwing autofocus on the cinema cameras. Very hopeful for the entire community that uses Blackmagic to finally have autofocus. That was the biggest feature that was lacking that all of the Sony boys, all of the Canon boys are laughing at us for not having autofocus, but here it is. We're gonna take a look. I have the camera finally updated with version 9.5 and we're gonna see if this beta uh, does what it needs to do. So the only autofocus L-mount lens that I have is this Panasonic S-Series 50mm f1.8, but we're gonna test out and see how it works with the L-mount Alliance lenses. I'm also gonna be recording in 6K open gate on eight to one compression. So there's a long list of features in this camera update. Today I'm gonna to only focus on the autofocus features because that's what you're here for. So to get into our autofocus menu, we're gonna just hit our menu button. We're gonna go into setup and then page two of setup will get us into uh, this bottom right corner. That's autofocus type in beta. We can now select phase detect autofocus and return to our screen. So if we swipe from right to left, now we're gonna see four menu options. We're gonna have single autofocus, continuous autofocus, object tracking, and face tracking. So single autofocus, pretty self-explanatory. We can just touch the screen and we'll see that yellow box arrive and uh, we are now in focus. We can also do the same thing with our focus button up here. It will refocus wherever we move that box to. Now continuous autofocus is the cool thing because we can find focus. And then once we see that, ooh, it's hunting pretty bad because we're at f1.8 now, interesting. So once we have that blue box, we know that we are locked on. So we can slide in and out and it's gonna keep focus for us. Object tracking, we now have a, a different type of blue box that is now tracking on. We can move left and right and that box is gonna stay locked on our points, in and out, and it's gonna do its level best to keep that same point in focus. Now, since we don't have a face here, this might not go well, but yeah, there's no faces for it to find. So we'll try that outside. Now, looking here, we're going to put on continuous autofocus mode. I'm gonna roll. So we are now in continuous autofocus mode, looking at Michael, the cameraman, Huntington. So he's moving back and forth here. How's it look? It seems like it might be hunting a little bit. Not hunting ton, but hunting a little bit. We're kind of flashing between this blue and yellow box, it means it's going in and out of tracking. It seems to kind of get hung up on the camera as I go back and forth. So that is AFC. I'm gonna put it on face detection now. So we can see that we have a yellow box on Michael. It's found his face, it's holding on tight. Move back and forth, Michael. Oh, it found the camera for a second there. It sees one and two right now. So it's seeing that the camera might be a face. Michael is definitely a face. Hmm. Coming in and out. Is the yellow mean it's like not strong? Yellow means that it's focused. Blue means that it's locked on. And white, there's gonna be a white box for faces saying, hey, I see multiple faces here. Which one do you wanna focus? You have to tap. Okay. So looking at the edge of the screen, let's get you off screen. Oh, it lost you. And did it find you? It sees you as a second face. So I tap on you, it's back. I'm gonna move around, I'm gonna go back and forth. And this is such an unscientific test, folks, so I just want you to know. Okay, and there we get a red box that says focus lost. So I'm gonna put it on AFS mode right now. So I have this yellow box I can tap around so I can see you know, that painting in the very back. And I can see Michael right there and I can see the camera. And I'm gonna move even closer. You can see, maybe you can see. Oh, it's trying. It's not finding my notes. If I go AFC, what's that look like? Find my notes for a second, but it's hunting in and out. If I do object tracking, what's that look like? Too close, so it's finding my that's the nice thing about this, is it's gonna tell you if you're at your minimum focus, it'll shine red and say too close. So kind of moving around, see if it's tracking on that gaff tape there. Focus lost. And back 
up, see if we find anything on Michael's face. A little bit. Okay. So it's it's trying, I will say. Okay, so we have our little test subject here. This is fly. And we are in object tracking mode. Fly, go. Fly, go. go. No, no, go that way. Ready? Go. <laughs> you are not behaving. Go. Go that way. Touch to track the otter. Stay with her, Michael. Come here. Come here. Okay. All right, I'll switch to the walk. Come on. Come on. Let's go. So I'm not sure how it's tracking right now, but if there's a blue box around me or fly, that means that we're tracking okay. And we're still at F1.8. And we are outside, so we have a big, strong ND on there right now. Let me put it on face tracking mode so you can watch me. So touch, a, touch the screen around my face to like track me. So now we are in face tracking mode. So I'm just gonna move around and I'm getting out of the plane of focus, uh, you know, distance wise from the camera. I'm gonna come in closer. And you may see that it says too close eventually. It might get red too close. Still yellow? Yeah, there's too close for sure. It's gotta be, yeah. <laughs> Take a look at Durden. Let's see him as a face, I wonder. So we know that like Panasonic's and Sony's now have animal detection. Uh, and that is pretty good. So I'm not sure if that's a future update from Blackmagic. If we can get animals, if we can get different types of objects, we can get cars, motorcycles, uh, things for like sports and stuff. But again, if you're shooting a Blackmagic camera for sports and athletics <laughs> or anything fast like racing, the rolling shutter is not gonna be usable for you. So I recommend a different camera for that. Um, but for just kind of walking, talking, uh, subtle movements in and out, I think the autofocus might work. Oh, that was pretty bad, actually. Was it bad? <laughs> it wasn't great. Hey, dude. Yeah, it's on face, but it might maybe try object. Dude. Dude, come here, buddy. Come here, bud. Come on. Come over here. There you go. That's that's a good actor, dog. Come on. Come close. There you go. That's what I want to see. No, I lost him. So things like corners and edges, maybe it's getting too hung up on. So it's having a hard time separating dirt in from like a corner or from like a shadowy spot. So it seems like it's not quite doing the math right. Uh, so I think that more testing is needed, but also there's some clear improvements that need to be made in this. I know it is only in beta, uh, but um, it's nothing that I would want to take out in the field personally uh, and you know rely on it as autofocus, nothing like a Sony or a Canon or a Panasonic even um, that are known for having more reliable autofocus. Your mileage may vary, especially with different types of subjects you try to track. I think that the continuous autofocus at least works in an interior well-lit controlled environment, uh, but for exterior things with complicated scenarios, different depths of subjects, uh, might have a hard time. So reviewing all of this, what I'm gonna say is that it's better, right? It is, I will call it phase effect autofocus. It catches focus and focuses fast once it has it. Now it's the having of focus that is the issue. And it might be the lens or it might be our lighting environment because nothing's controlled here. This is all just kind of like run and gun, almost like an in the field test. I will say that it lost focus and it hunted back and forth between object and face. Even though I was in face mode, it was finding the camera thinking that maybe that was the face. It found Michael's face just fine when he was not behind the camera. It struggled a lot reading this note sheet right here. And yeah, this is fine print and given the, the key light, you know, it's blown out a little bit. I'm not going to fault it too much for that, uh, especially when it's face detect on a single uh, sheet of paper. That might be really tough for it. But it's not to the level where I would be comfortable taking this onto a shoot and saying, yes, I have autofocus and I'm good all day. Not like I would with a Sony or a Canon. So it is still in beta, but I think they do have some work to do. Now, there's gonna be a lot of butts here because it is Black Magic now having autofocus. You know, so I'm stoked for that. On the same hand, uh, I, would, I wanna see some improvements before I'm comfortable taking this into the field.
Let us know in the comments how you felt about the focus in this test and if you have this camera. Let us know uh, what lenses you've tested it on, what f-stops, what focal lengths you've tested it on. Uh, because I want to know more as well because I, I love this camera and I love shooting with it and having autofocus is just like cherry on top if I can get that feature to work reliably. That's it for now. Uh, this was kind of like a first look test at autofocus on the Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.